I'm going to talk you through the two steps needed to check an ATAG boiler's CO2 readings, plus the process for adjusting the level if required. Before I start, it's important to remember that the CO2 settings are preset at the factory for all boilers. The calibrated flue gas analyzer must be used during the commissioning. To do this, ensure the boiler is in operation and that the heat produced can be discharged. First thing you need to check is the full load readings. To put the boiler into chimney sweep mode, press both the central heating and the domestic hot water plus buttons for six seconds. When the flame symbol and the water supply temperature appears in the display, the boiler will be maximum central heating output. Press both plus buttons again for six seconds. The boiler will switch to maximum hot water output for the IC combi boilers, or again, maximum central heating output for the IS system boilers and the IR boilers. Each time you press the eco button, the display will allow you to scroll through and choose between flow temperature, the percentage of heat capacity, or the fan speed. We need to select the percentage of heat capacity. This will be the percentage figure. Then using the domestic hot water plus button, take the percentage figure up to the 100% if it's not already. Now it's in full load. So calibrate the flue gas analyzer, then insert the flue gas probe into the left hand side sample point of the flue turret. Then check whether the CO2 values that are listed in this table correspond with the measured values now shown on the analyzer screen. Now you're ready for set two. To set the low load of the boiler, you need to press the domestic hot water minus button until the minimum value shows 0% has been reached. Remember, the CO2 value at low load must be lower than the CO2 value at full load. Check whether the CO2 values are within the correct range using this table. You have now finished measuring. If you are happy, you need to turn off the chimney sweep mode by doing the following. Press the central heating minus button and the boiler will switch off. The display will now show for two seconds either 180 or 181. Then the display will show OK. You only need to adjust the CO2 levels if the measured values lie outside the recommended range. To adjust the gas valve, open the boiler case and gain access to the gas valve. Set the boiler on full load as we discussed in step one. Then set the CO2 values using a two millimeter Allen key or a large flat bladed screwdriver on the throttle screw. Then turn clockwise for more CO2 or anti-clockwise for less. Then check whether the CO2 values that are now listed below correspond with the measured value. You now need to check the CO2 values at low load. To check the low load, press the domestic hot water button until the minimum value shows 0%. Again, check that the levels are in line with the recommended range. Finally, refit the case and confirm these full load and low load settings with the case on. Now turn off the chimney sweep mode. Press the central heat minus button. The device will switch off. The display will show for two seconds either the 180 or the 181 code. The display will then show OK. 